Just starting another one. This one's a nine hour print. It's quarter to midnight, so if all goes well, we can have a look in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. Oh. I'm not going to get those off left handed. Okay, well. Oh, well. Looks okay. To give it a try. Hi guys, thought I would 3D print a balloon powered car. It's uh, not going to be terribly strong. If it hits the wall or anything, it'll probably snap. But I made it as simple as I could. So, I've got that's the front axle or axle tubes, that's the back axle tubes. This is the bit for the balloon to go on. Then the tube goes back that way so you can blow it up through there if you want to. This is just um, support stuff that I need to trim off. I'm not quite sure why it's decided to put support layers there because it really didn't need them. Right, I'll trim that up a little bit. At the same time, I thought I might as well print some of these hubs for the CDs. Because I need I could have printed the wheels completely, but I like to use these hubs. Because they're quick and easy, and if I'm 3D printing the rest of it. So, I need a couple of barbecue skewers or bamboo canes. Oh, and I will clean that up and then we'll give it a try. I've cleaned it up just to make sure it's nice and smooth. Okay. So, I need some bamboo canes, barbecue skewers. That one looks a bit thick. Yeah, that's... you'll find they do come in random thicknesses. In fact, those ones look too thin. All right, that should be just about right. Bit of a gap either side. That one is a bit thin. A bit thin. Looks too thick. Thick. 
I think I made the holes in the middle uh, three and a half millimeters diameter, which seemed to be a sort of a mid size for. Yeah, they're a little bit loose. You can always glue them on, but I try to avoid doing that. That'll do. Oh, a bit of bend on that one. Oh, I should still be alright though. One problem with this design is if you use a big balloon, it's going to lay on the wheels. So you're going to have to use a fairly small balloon. The other thing you can do is play with the diameter of the nozzle at the end here. I've left it fairly large, which means the air is going to come out fairly quickly. So it's going to be a short burst of power, not a long burst of power. You could either print it with a smaller hole or you can constrict that, put something inside it to make it thinner. Put my finger over the end. Short burst of wind. it all the way is it or is it not quite okay I'll try that again because when I let my finger off the end I sort of pulled it backwards at the same time which was counterproductive my finger was stuck to the nozzle so we lost a bit. That was a better release, but I've let it go slightly to the right. Is it going to make it? Oh, it is. There. Yeah, so I didn't mess up the release so much that time. I pushed my finger into the end so hard it it stuck to it so when I pulled my finger away it pulled the car backwards a little bit the first time. Let's see if we can go back the other way. I think you can see I've blown it up a little bit harder this time. That's gonna hit the chair leg. It isn't perfect full distance but as I say it'd be well worth playing with the size of the nozzle see if you can improve the distance or if you wanted to use a bigger balloon like I say you don't want it to fall over on the wheels so you'd make the center section longer so the balloon can't possibly touch the wheels then. Or make it higher so the wheels are down out the way and have a cover on it. Because that's the thing that I've noticed most often. The balloon falls over, rubs on the wheels and that stops the car going. But I'm going to count that one as a success. I suppose you could make some sort of um, some sort of protection in the middle there to 
to stop the balloon hitting the wheels. Anyway, yep, that's a success as far as I'm concerned. Thanks for watching. There's always more information down in the video description. And if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And you might like to have a look at my channel over here. See what else I do. Thank you for watching.